Today we'll be discussing nine tips to help you get used to your CPAP machine. The first tip when using your CPAP machine is actually to put your mask and your machine on during the day before you go to sleep. Now what this does, it doesn't help you with your sleep apnea, but it helps you get used to your mask and the CPAP pressure. When you put it on, you can watch TV, you can read a book or listen to music just to help you start getting used to the uh, machine. When you, it'll help you get used to all the pressure points. It'll help you get used to the pressure that the machine's giving you, the, the sensation that the machine will give you when you first put it on. Tip number two. Tip number two would actually be to use a quieter machine. Now, quiet machine would be, sometimes the travel CPAPs are a little bit noisier than your standard CPAPs. So it, sometimes it's better, especially when you're first starting out, to use a standard CPAP instead of a travel CPAP. Uh, this leads us on to the type of mask, which is if the type of mask, the exhalation part of the mask can cause a little bit more noise or less noise, which we'll get into in the next, in the next tips. Tip number three is to use a mask with a good diffuser. Now a diffuser is so that the air doesn't come straight out the front. Uh, that will also help you if you sleep with someone that the, the breeze doesn't hit them and it doesn't wake them up, doesn't bother them. It also helps to make the mask a lot quieter. Uh, masks with diffusers, like good diffusers, tend to be a lot quieter than masks that just have a stream of air coming out the front of it. Tip number four is to get fitted for your CPAP mask. Why is this important? Because the CPAP mask is usually one of the most important parts of sleep apnea therapy. If you're not comfortable with the mask, if you don't have the right size fit mask, it'll be a little bit harder for you to get used to your CPAP. Now, getting your CPAP mask fit before you get your you start actually using your machine is very simple you can just contact us at sleepplay.com and we'll help you choose the right mask fit for you tip number five is to use a less cumbersome mask now masks come in all different shapes and sizes so you want to try to find the best mask for you if you get a full face mask and you're claustrophobic what's going to happen you're going to get a very strong feeling of claustrophobia and you might not want to use the mask so in that case, we would recommend either to go to like a nasal cradle mask or a nasal pillow mask, which will be a le it'll be a lot less cumbersome on your face. It won't be covering you, so it'll, it'll give you less of that feeling of claustrophobia. As far as it goes, when it comes to mask, it's better to go less cumbersome, less bulky, so that it doesn't bother you. Tip number six is you want to be you want to consider the mass mobility. Now, mass mobility, what does that stand for? When you're going to be moving from side to side how well that mask is gonna function with you. If the mask doesn't have swivel points, it's gonna tend to tug a bit more. Also, you gotta make sure it has enough, tub enough tubing length. Uh, tubing length will provide you on more space for you to move around back and forth. If you have a very short tube, what's gonna happen? It's gonna tug on you and it's not gonna let you move around. Uh, depending on your sleep patterns, a lot of people tend to move at least side to side throughout the night. Tip number seven is to make sure that you have a CPAP cleaning routine. Now, why do you want to have a CPAP cleaning routine? You want to make sure that you prevent mold and bacteria from building up inside your CPAP machine. Now, there's various ways you can go about this. You can either wash your, all your supplies with warm soapy water on a daily basis, or you can choose to buy a CPAP cleaner, which you can go to sleepplay.com and you can find a wide range of CPAP cleaners. Tip number eight is to take breaks. Now taking breaks, if you go to sleep with your machine on and after a few hours you just can't tolerate it anymore, you wake up in the middle of the night, you feel suffocated, you just can't have it, it's okay to take a break, but continue to try. Now you can take a break as in 15, 20 minutes, an hour, catch your breath, make sure you feel okay, or you can stop it that night and continue the next night. The, the key to this is consistency. If you continue to use the machine, you will get used to it. And last but not least, tip number nine. Tip number nine is actually in reference to facial hair. Now, if you do have facial hair, if it's very nice and trimmed, your mask should seal properly with no problem. But if you have a very thick beard, you are gonna have a problem with leaks and finding the proper mask. Now, you can go to our blog section and check out best CPAP mask for beards. Those were nine quick tips on how to get used to your CPAP machine. Good luck on your smooth journey.